Hello, Francesca here again, coming to talk to you about the Colour Potential cards. I talked in my first video, when I began this brave new world journey, for me anyway, um, of making videos about how the cards came into being, what was the original concept. And that was when I was training to be a metaphysical counsellor. And one of our assignments was to put together our passion with a metaphysical principle. Clearly, colour is my passion, painter, colour potential cards. The principle, the metaphysical principle uh, that I was basing this on is that we cannot change other people. We can only change ourselves. So in order to change a situation that we don't like, we need to change ourselves. If you are locked in a relationship with somebody that you are finding uh, difficult, um, then think about changing yourself. Because if you change yourself, they have to change. They can't stay there anymore because you're not in the same position. Therefore, they cannot be locked in that position with you. So that's just a little thought for you. So I haven't seen these cards. We're going to do the three card uh, pick again, um, like we did last week. Seem to go down very well. So think of an issue that you're having trouble resolving. Question is, what positive power within myself can I bring out in order to uh, help this issue, solve this issue, move this issue along. So intuitively choose which card you think might be of help to you, one, two or three, and uh, we'll look at them one by one and hopefully uh, that will be of help to you. So here we go, here's card number one, if you've chosen that. Oh, playfulness, how lovely really really lovely so this is baby blue as you can see and it's about that sense of playfulness think of babies think of kittens think of puppies think of any young animal or human and their sense of play is just so natural to them now obviously as we grow into adults that playfulness sometimes gets a bit obscured a bit buried so this is what this card is suggesting with this issue, is that you bring a bit of playfulness into the situation. Um, this is especially helpful if you're creatively stuck, if you're, if you're having uh, some kind of creative block, any act of creativity, because creativity is essentially play. We like to uh, uh, create as we did in childhood. Whatever inspired us as, as a child is what we want to uh, recreate as an adult. So your form of creativity, you need to get back to the playful side of it. Uh, so this, that's really, really helpful. But uh, any issue in general, can you think of just bringing a bit of playfulness into the situation, whether it's with a person, whether it's with yourself? I mean, my goodness, it's not easy these days at all. So maybe just a little bit of uh, playfulness in your life will help just alleviate things a bit. That baby blue, that baby, baby blue. Go back to your childhood self and uh, be a bit playful. Okay. Second card is support. Can you see that? That is grey. Now I was going to speak about grey uh, in my colour video later on in the week. It is such a beautiful colour and it gets such a bad rap. You know, oh it's a grey day, oh uh, so and so is rather a grey personality. Uh, and it's sort of considered wishy-washy. Sometimes when people pick these cards and they get grey, they get terribly upset because it's, it's a negative colour. Absolutely not. It's a beautiful colour. I so wanted it in there. Um, and uh, this one is about support. Uh, so the way I look at it, if you think of the Roman and Grecian ruins that we have uh, around the world left to us, Originally, these buildings, these statues would have been highly coloured. I mean, garishly coloured. Uh, I don't know what we would have thought of them, but they've come down to us as this beautiful marble stone grey. They look very uh, sleek and sophisticated. And that's how we've inherited the, <laughs> the ancient world, is without all that garish colour. But the point of this card is they're grey, but they're still there. Think of those Grecian columns, those Doric columns that go whoosh into the ground. And they support these monumental buildings, these buildings that we revere, these buildings that were built 
uh, thousands of years ago to, to um, celebrate other gods, to uh, worship at other altars. And we have them today and people flock to see them. They're still here. There's, and this is the support. This is what this is about. This is about you being supported. So it would suggest if you pick this card that in some area of your life, you're not feeling supported, which would be pretty easy at this moment, given how strange life is. So ask for support, ask somebody for support, ask me for support. If I can support you, message me, let me pull a card for you, let me support you. But it's, it's, it's soft, this grey, it's soft, but it's absolutely strong. It's weathered all these centuries. So only just a tiny bit of support could really, really help you resolve that issue. Beautiful grey. And the third card. Da -da -da. What is this? This is cream and it's fulfillment. Oh, this is a good card. They, su they surprised me. I created these cards, have done for the last 20 years and they still surprise me. I think, oh, I forgot about that card. Now, I wanted cream in the mix, uh, partly because of all that magnolia. Do you remember the phase where every house was painted magnolia inside? And uh, it all got a bit of a bad rap again. So we've got grey and cream, uh, but not necessarily an e easy colour for me to put um, positive powers with, the qualities with. The reason fulfilment is uh, cream is because it takes a while for the cream to, to rise to the top of the milk. So you have to be patient, you have to wait. The other part of this card is, I have a real problem when parents say to their children, I just want you to be happy. Well, it's impossible. We can't just be happy. Life is too complicated. Life is too multi-layered. Life is too up and down. Wishing us to be happy is just setting us up to fail. Fulfillment, on the other hand, is a completely different thing and that we can achieve. So there is something uh, in this issue that may have been around a long, long time. Think of that cream rising. You have to be patient, but it's suggesting now that this is the time that if this issue can come to fulfillment. It may be a project you've been working on. I know nothing about working on projects for decades at all. Of course not. Um, but that's what this card is about. So be patient with this issue, but think of fulfillment. Think of it coming, the cream rising to the top and it becoming whole. It be a part of you that is going to become whole with this issue. Okay, three really rather interesting cards. Um, I hope they've helped you. Message me if you want to, leave comments. I'd love to know um, how you got on with them all. And if you do want support, I, that's a, a, a genuine offer from me. And in the meantime, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me in colour.